All right, so I'm inside uh, the Fulton Street subway stop, which is just downstairs from Liberty Park, and I can hear some noise, so I thought I'd start recording and just show the way up. Welcome to the park. Excuse me. This used to be the uh, spiritual center of the tree here in the middle. So earlier today. Earlier today they rushed in on one person wearing a mask. And it might have been just because he was wearing a mask. So he got arrested because he was wearing a mask in public. Right. Which they have arrested people for before. Yes. Okay. And they said get that sucker. And uh, what happened was, so one guy surrounded the police. Okay. To make sure that nothing happened to the guy. And the police were so afraid that they were losing some of their men. They came in after. I saw that part. To unlock the crowd. Hmm. But uh, the crowd remained, I assume, nonviolent and. Uh, Eventually they pushed their way through, grabbed the guy they were trying to get, yes. drug him out yes. for wearing a mask. And uh, what happened last night with the raids? I saw that they came in and like grabbed the food and threw away a bunch of books. Yes, last night they threw away the books. Did they ever give any justification for, for the that? justification, as I can put it in my words, was that they don't want us to rally around anything. But they didn't give any sort of official legal you know, we're doing this for cleanliness. They didn't give any sort of... No reasoning. No, no, not even an excuse for doing it. All right, thank you. I've been walking around lower Manhattan, Wall Street, Exchange Street, and I can tell you that people's lives are disrupted. And they cannot get into restaurants, they cannot easily get into their buildings because uh, the police have erected barriers to keep people from getting from here to there. I saw an elderly gentleman who said, when are these barriers going to come down? This is a terrible thing. And the policeman, of course, did not know because he doesn't. And I pointed out that the barriers were erected by the police. The barriers were, had nothing to do with Occupy Wall Street. These were erected by the police to disrupt everybody. Um, and thank you, thank for that. But indeed, I think Occupy Wall Street should thank them because our goal is to bring to the attention the fact that there are a number of people who are really bothered, and, and as a result, there can be some social distance. Today was a good day.
Awesome, awesome. The other thing that you guys should know is I was approached by a man who purported to be a lawyer who wanted to help us. And when he checked out his credentials, he specializes in financial mismanagement and oppositional the court who left them causes. The so the banks have hired somebody at high cost to bring us down. You met one, a lawyer from the banks? I met him, no, well, he didn't say he was working for the banks, but when you call his office, he is still working for the banks. And you saw him at the protest? And he was at the protest, and then he said he wanted to work and that he did work for the other side, and that he was helping people with, with um, getting back their homes, and that he no longer worked for these Wall Street people. But when you call the firm, and say you want to talk to him, the secretary still answers. Interesting. So we are important. Yes. We have hired one of these thousand dollar an hour guys, you know, to undermine us.